Moving down to the bones of the forearm, I'll start with the ulna. If you can't remember which is which, just remember U for ulna. So the ulna has the olecranon process, the coronoid process, and the trochlear notch. Because when it articulates with the humerus, the olecranon process goes into the olecranon fossa, the trochlea goes inside the trochlear notch, and the coronoid process goes into the coronoid fossa on the humerus. Also, there is the radial notch, where the head of the radius is going to sit when the ulna and the radius are together. And coming down, this is the head of the ulna and the ulnar styloid process, um, just like the styloid pop process that's on the cranium. Moving on to the radius, um, you can think a circle, it has a radius. So this part is the head of the radius with the bump underneath it being the radial tuberosity. Then if you go down to this end, which is the part near your wrist, you have the radial styloid process. And here's the ulnar notch where the ulna would fit into the radius.